everything you need to know about the new DJI Fly App 1.5.4 for Android and iOS coming right up. So we have a new DJI Fly app. This is 1.5.4 and of course is available for iOS and Android devices. So let's take a little look at what is actually new then. Master Shots, Hyperlapse and Focus Track are now available on the DJI Mavic 3, subject to being on the latest firmware. And this is really good news because when DJI launched this drone, I know many people have been quite unhappy at some of the features that have been missing and there was promised to come in January. However, some of these uh, features seem to be appearing a little bit earlier so it does seem DJI are, are pretty much on with this so really good job on that one. So next we have added support to shoot raw format um, again that is only available on the DJI Mavic 3 but that's the only one that really needs it because the rest kind of do it and um, the Mini 2 does it the Air 2S does it and the Mavic Air 2 does it um, so yeah obviously that's just for the Mavic 3 we also have added support to adjust EXP settings and then fixes certain issues and optimizes overall app quality now the ability to adjust the EXP settings which is effectively the sensitivity of the sticks on the controller is at absolutely huge and a massive well done to DJI on this one uh, the reason for it is because I have seen a lot of comments when it actually comes down to the DJI Mavic 3 being incredibly sensitive on these sticks uh, the youtuber Ian in London had a slight mishap with his DJI Mavic 3 and he put that down to this issue as well where basically what had happened is he made a slight adjustment on this stick but the drone was really sensitive and just flew off and I believe he managed to hit a hit a twig from a tree and ended up uh, upside down um, not in a good state however it looks like DJI have looked to address this almost immediately uh, by giving users the option to adjust the sensitivity of the sticks and this is where the good news actually continues because where this update seemed to be more about the DJI DJI Mavic 3, I can confirm that the ability to adjust the EXP settings on the uh, joystick actually does apply to the DJI Mavic Mini, it applies to the Mini SE, it applies to the DJI Mini 2 and it applies to the Mavic Air 2 and the Air 2S. So basically all the drones that are using the DJI Fly app have now got this ability to adjust the EXP settings. So come to think of it, it makes so much more sense the fact that we've had some recent firmware updates then. Not only have we had some firmware updates for this controller, we even had some firmware updates for the DJI Mavic Mini. And it all makes sense now that the ability to add these uh, EXP controls must have come from them firmware updates. Primarily, this is going to help those with the oversensitivity of the sticks on the DJI Mavic 3. However, I would exercise caution, okay? If you know what you're doing, brilliant, not a problem. However, if you are looking at changing some of your settings, maybe on the Mavic Mini or the Mini 2 or the DJI Air 2S, just be very, very careful because it is so simple to make the wrong move and you put your drone up and without realising you've increased the sensitivity or something and you end up in a tree, okay? Now, even though there is the option to reset these settings, I would personally, unless you know what you're doing, exercise caution and leave these well alone. One really cool feature that has been added is also the ability to have additional functions with the function button. Now, some of these are what iOS devices have had already, but with Android, we was lacking behind and thankfully, DJI have now given them to us as well. So we have a few additional options over and above the four we had previously and even the ability to open up the camera settings using the function button is a really cool feature but more importantly what I really do like is the ability to set the EV plus and minus on the function button so you can very quickly adjust the EV compensation if it suddenly you know becomes too bright or too dark you can quickly make that adjustment and I think that's just a really cool feature to be able to make those adjustments without having to take your hands and start pressing around on your phone etc etc so that's a really really cool cool update and I really like
like that. When it comes to the DJI Mini 2, however, the one problem still does remain. That one problem is the fact that if you adjust your gimbal um, on your aircraft, your settings, um, unfortunately, if you hit that reset button, they don't actually reset. The gimbal uh, movement and adjustment, that all does that, but the actual aircraft rotation, that doesn't, okay? So that still remains a problem. The other problem that also remains is to do with the DJI Flight app placing a cache file, which is a lower resolution file, on your flying device, whether it be a tablet or your phone. What generally used to happen is if you took photo or video, it would place a smaller compressed version, uh, low resolution onto your device. Now, what basically happened is this hasn't been working for quite some time now. And I've actually come to the conclusion of why this actually is. Now, even though on the last update, DJI did give us the option to manually download it. So you can still go into the DJI Fly app while you, your drone's turned on and you can manually download the low resolution files. Uh, and that's all that's all good you can do that um what used to happen, um, obviously, if you do remember, it wasn't that long ago that the DJI Flight app had a major issue where it kept crashing, okay? Um, and as a YouTuber, one of the main pieces of advice to try and prevent that was to tell people to turn off the video cache. Basically, because, of course, we, when you've got the DJI Flight app open and you are recording a video, um, obviously, your phone is having to work extra hard uh, to also place that smaller version at the same time or write the smaller version onto your phone's device. And that was causing a few issues such as the CPU overloads as well. So I can only think that actually, come to think of it, it's quite deliberate. And actually, I think it's quite a good thing. Even though we might still have the options in the menus uh, to say that it should do it, we all know the DJI Flight app actually isn't. So you can get this app update in the usual ways then. If you are on iOS, you can just simply hit that update button uh, within the App Store, and that is nice and simple. If you are on Android, you should potentially get a pop-up on screen prompting you to update the app. You can also visit the DJI Flight app page on the DJI website and very simple simply download the latest version and of course you can pop to the video description of any of my DJI Flight App updates and you can say that I have hosted all of the APKs for you to install manually so you can select the version that you wish. Now one thing I would always suggest when you ever have a DJI Flight App update or a firmware update make sure you do a full power down okay and just restart everything and give it everything a fresh start before you go flying just to make sure that everything is installed correctly so i have been out with the dji air 2s and the dji mini 2 just to do a couple of test flights to make sure that everything is functioning correctly now as of my personal experience i found no issues whatsoever of course i cannot test the new features on the dji mavic 3 because i don't have it okay and i don't plan to get it until uh, the next couple of months until at least it's fully functional okay uh, but ultimately my experience is the fact that everything seems okay on this app and i would say that it was okay to install in my personal opinion so please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below especially what you think of this update not to mention the ability to adjust the exp settings which of course is really really cool and interesting but please don't mess around and make sure that you are completely competent because you could end up trashing your drone okay so just be aware of that one okay so not to mention i will also leave a couple of links here for videos i think you might want to watch so please do go check out some other content on my channel it really is appreciated and of course until next time fly safe and i will see you again soon